have faith in the people that the right things will be done. To make matters worse, I was never allowed to litigate my own case. My Sixth Amendment rights were stripped from me, showing more collusion by the courts. The following are more violations and questions I believe the judicial officers abused. Besides trespass, there was fabrication of the truth. Were lies made up against me, which officers are known to do? I was originally only going to receive a speeding ticket, and the officer, along with the Los Angeles City Attorney's officers, blew it all out of proportion to try to unlawfully prosecute me. I believe that this orchestration by the officers, along with the prosecuting attorneys, was led by none other than Judge Michael J. O'Gara and Puggy, Peggy Loveman, the PPD, which stands for Public Pretender Defender, whom all violated multiple constitutional protective rights, among them to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Another in situation is there must be a real party in interest, which is a general, re genuine, real man or woman, an original injured party, not a synthetic one. There's a rule, 17, of federal, and then there's a civil procedure, California rule, 17A. There must be a real party in interest in every action. There was no corpus delecti, an injured body or party, nor was there one lawfully ever presented without an injured party, there is no crime. There was no ratification of commencement either. There must be a ratification of commencement, which is a legal document stating that they are authorized to prosecute one of the people. And I was denied time to search for a private attorney before arraignment, even though there was no jurisdiction proven. I never pled in this case and the court unlawfully proceeded without proving the nature and cause of the charges. Again, I was only informed about the right to a speedy trial, which I never waived time for. A trial by a jury of my peers. There's a federal rule, Civil Procedure 38, that states I have a right to that, and there's also California state codes. Giving a timeline for a trial to begin by June 8, 2015. By the judge stripping my protective right to self-represent the matter, violated my right to a speedy trial and by a jury of one's peers. It is stated in document by the court's summary that I was fully aware, willing, and able to self-represent this matter on my own. On May 26, 2015, and I quote, Court finds that the defendant voluntarily and intelligently chooses self-representation and that he knowingly, intelligently, and understandingly and explicitly waives his right to counsel and determines that defendant is competent to represent himself. Now, on my next appearance on June 3rd, 2015, that was the day I was stripped of my constitutional right to self-representation. Even bank robbers, murderers, drug dealers, and other real lawbreakers have the right to self-represent their matters. Furthermore, I was objecting to the facts that all of my discovery demands were being withheld from me. And these are the basics of all litigations, regardless of family law, probate law, criminal law, or civil law. Discovery is everything in every case. I never waived time to a speedy trial in this matter, and this is why my rights to self-representation were stripped and left me to the leisure of the predators to devour every known protective right known to the constitutions. This was the pinnacle of my demise and obliterated my due process. And we encourage you to subscribe below or make a comment. You know, it's all about creating value for our society. And we're only going to be able to do it if we all band together. And we need to do it one step at a time. So stay tuned.